So you knew that your S2 could scribble, but did you know that it could also dance? Well, it's got some moves. So today we'll show you how to get your S2 out onto the dance floor by using the S2 GUI software. Let's get started. Let's begin by learning how to control the S2 robot's movements in the GUI. The action tile to do so is this one right here. Click the tile and then click in your program where you'd like to insert it. The motion control box should appear. This is where you define the robot's movement, whether it will go straight, pivot, or arc, and for how long. You can drag this middle button here to set the robot's direction and speed, and watch a graphical depiction of the movement change in this corner. This button can also be clicked to set quick movements. Dragging these arrows up and down adjust each wheel's speed directly. Positive values move the wheels forward, with 100 being the fastest speed, while negative values move the wheels backward, with negative 100 being the fastest speed. A value of zero stops the wheels. You may also notice the stopwatch here on the right. This is where you set how long you want your robot to move for. Not setting it to anything will cause the robot to repeat that movement continuously until another one is given. Now, I'd recommend playing around in the GUI for a little bit so you can kind of get a feel for how different values affect the robot's movements. For example, can you get the S2 to spin around in place? What about move forward along an arc? The easiest way to do this is to simply go through each quick movement by pressing this button here. Run each one and see how they make the S2 move. Then adjust the values and see if the robot responds how you think it's going to. So, how's about we add some pizzazz and put some music to our movements? Now, the S2 GUI software doesn't directly allow us access to the propeller's multiprocessing capabilities. That's because it executes code in a sequential fashion. So, even though the S2's motors are running in a separate processor, if we tell it to move forward for a second and then play a song, that's exactly what's going to happen. But, if we tell it to move forward indefinitely, and we make the next action tile a song action tile, it will start executing the movement and then move on to the next tile, essentially playing music while it's moving. So let's set a move forward action tile and then insert a music action tile. The music action tile is this one right here. Click it and then click in your program where you'd like it to go. The music control box should appear. The GUI software comes with several pre-programmed sounds and songs. You can insert them into your program simply by clicking one. You can make your songs play faster or slower by using this scroll bar at the top. Slower is more towards the turtle and faster is more towards the horse. And you can hear what your music will sound like by pressing the play button next to the ear icon. You can also play musical notes by using these buttons. Once a note is inserted into your program, you can change its duration or octave by using these two buttons. Play around in this music control box for a while and see what tunes you can come up with. Then run the program and see what happens. So now that our S2 robots can play music while moving, it seems only natural that they would want to dance. So let's get our robots moving in a grooving by getting them to do the hokey pokey. Because really, who doesn't love the Hokey Pokey? I went ahead and downloaded the sheet music from the internet and we'll use the musical note buttons in the GUI to put it into our worksheet. Now we'll have to be a little creative with our movements since we won't actually be able to time them out. And the best way to do this is to actually break up each of the notes and assign them to a specific movement. So let's see how it goes. First, we'll need to define our first action, which is putting our right wheel in. We'll want the S2 to then keep its left wheel stationary and move the right one forward. So we'll insert a move action tile and set the left wheel to zero and the right wheel to positive 50. Then we'll need to define the notes for you put your right wheel in. Remember, you can hit the play button to see how it sounds. I think it sounds a bit fast by default, so let's slow the tempo down a bit. The next action will be putting our right wheel out. For this, we'll want to keep the left wheel stationary, but we'll want the right wheel to rotate backward so it returns to its original position. 
we do so by setting a value of negative 50. Then it's time to define the notes for you put your right wheel out, remember to slow down the tempo. Next, we'll be putting our right wheel back in. This will be the same as our first movement, so let's just copy that action tile. The notes will be the same too, except that the last note will need to be a longer duration. We can still copy that music tile and then edit it to change the last note's duration. After that, we'll need to shake it all about. I think this is best represented by moving the right wheel back and forth quickly. So we'll play one note in the and you shake it all about sequence, move the wheel backward, then play another note, move it forward, and so on and so forth until we reach the next action. And that next action is to turn yourself around. We'll do this by inserting another movement action tile and by setting the left wheel at full speed forward and the right wheel at full speed backward. Then we'll need to define the notes for you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. And now it's time for our last action. That's what it's all about. For this, let's just have the S2 move forward and backward on alternating notes, just like we did for Shake It All About. We'll then need to add a stop motor tile to the end of the program so that our S2s don't keep moving forward forever. And then when we run the program, it should go a little something like this. And now your S2 is a dancing machine. And if you'd like to download a copy of this worksheet for yourself, visit www.parallax.com go s2 and follow the link to the S2 robot Pokey Pokey. And next, until next time, happy dancing!